Hadik Khani is a Pakistani singer-songwriter. With a groundbreaking musical career that has spanned over two decades, Khani is considered the single most successful female singer of present-day Pakistan. She continues to be the recipient of numerous local and international awards and is currently the only mainstream female artist of Pakistan to ever perform at several of the most prestigious venues in the world, including Royal Albert Hall and the Kennedy Center. In 2006, Khani received the fourth highest decoration a civilian can be awarded in Pakistan, the TAMGHA Yamshas, for her contributions to music and her country. In 2010 Kani was appointed as a United Nations Development Program Goodwill Ambassador, making her the first woman in Pakistan to ever be a Goodwill Ambassador to the United Nations. Personal life, Kani is single and resides in Pakistan with her mother, Kawa, who has been paralyzed since 2006 and her son, whom she named Nord Ali. Kani adopted her son in 2005 from the D Foundation after the 2005 earthquake. I need a child and the child a mother, we have found each other she said when adopting the child. On the same day Carney made an official announcement of the adoption on Geo News political talk show, Capital Talk. Later that year, Carney got married to a UK-based Afghani businessman, Syed Farid Sarari. Their Nika was a private event and attended by very close family members. However, the marriage did not work and in 2008 Kani filed for divorce from Syed Farid Sarari. Life and career. Equals early years equals, Kani was born in Rawalpindi as the youngest of three siblings, her older brother and sister. Her father died when she was three years old. Her mother Kawa was the principal of a government girls' school. Since childhood, Kani and both her siblings had a knack for music and as such her mother and school enlisted her in the Pakistan National Council of the Arts. During her childhood, she used to perform in front of crowds of thousands in various children music festivals. Music was also taught as a subject in her school and she received early education in music from her music teacher Madam Najis Nadid. In Lahore she was classically trained by Ustad Faiz Ahmed Khan and Wajid Ali Nashad. She went on to study at Vikram Nizanun Girls High School Pindi. She represented Pakistan in international children festivals in Turkey, Jordan, Bulgaria, and Greece, winning various medals along the way. She also used to be on Soail Runner's children's program Rang Baranji Dunaya, a weekly musical on PTV. As an eighth grader, Kani moved from birthplace Royal Pindi to Lahore. Due to her excellent academic performance, Kani graduated from Pakistan's top institutions, earning her bachelor's degree in psychology from Kinnaird College for Women University and her master's in psychology from the respected government college university. The same institution where Muhammad Iqbal, Faiz Ahmad Faiz, and Ashfaq Ahmed studied. In the early 1990s, Kani came on to TV to host a children music program from PTV called Angon Angon Tere. In the three-and-a-half-year long run, she had sung over 1,000 songs for children and also hosted the same show alongside the renowned music composer Amjad Bobby and later on with music composer Khalil Ahmed. Due to the sheer amount of songs Kani sung during this program, she was presented with the title of A-plus artist on behalf of PTV joining the legendary likes of Noor Jayan, Nahid Okhtar, and Maynas. Kani also appeared as a VJ for a music charts program called Video Junction on NTM. Kani began to sing songs as a playback singer for movies in the early 90s, most notably was the hit Pakistani movie called Sargam which was starring and being composed by Adnan Sami Khan. The same year, she received various awards for her playback singing including the prestigious Nigar Awards for Best Female Playback Singer. Equals 1995 First album Raz Equals, in 1995, Kani received the NTM Viewer Euro Unregistered Trademark S Choice Award for the Best Female Singer of Pakistan. In the same award show, the late Nasrat Fatih Ali Khan was awarded as the Best Male Singer of Pakistan. The following year, Kani released her debut album Raz in 1996. She composed and wrote the lyrics to her first single, Jeevan. The album spawned a string of radio-friendly hits and received positive reviews. 
One reason the album did well was because it was not common for female singers to release albums in Pakistan. Also, she was the first female singer to release a pop album after former pop singer, Nazia Hussain, gave up her musical career in 1993. Khan's ability to sing in various dialects also helped the album gain momentum. In 1996, Khan's debut had sold over 700,000 copies, a very impressive figure for Pakistan. This milestone came when piracy in Pakistan hit an all-time high. She kept on releasing singles from the album, all of which were received well. These included Yard, Tuakar Mileta, Jani e. Jan, and the Kashmiri classic Mandi Moj. Her increasing popularity was further highlighted in January 1997, when Carney became the first Asian singer to perform on the British national lottery Live BBC One. Afterwards she worked on two more shows with Bally Sagu for BBC and ITV before going on her first U.S. tour in 1997. Her U.S. tour covered 15 states and a few cities in Canada. The same year Carney performed many other international events in the United Kingdom, Australia, and China. By the summer of 1997, Carney was representing Pakistan as the only Pakistani singer to perform at Celebration Hong Kong 97 at Happy Valley Race Course, alongside other international singers like Lisa Stansfield, Wet Wet Wet, Michael Learns to Rock, All 4-1 and the brand new Heavies, an event to celebrate Hong Kong's freedom from the United Kingdom. Carney is the first mainstream Pakistani singer to ever perform in Hong Kong. By the end of the year she became the first Asian female singer ever to be signed by Pepsi Cola International. She was the second international female artist in the world to be signed, the first being Gloria Estefan. 1998, second album Rishna equals, Carney started 1998 by recording the official theme song for the 1999 Cricket World Cup. The Pepsi-sponsored song was titled Into High Shork. Written by Khani's mother Kawa Khani and composed produced by the famed Nza Lilani. The song was filmed by Jami and Imran Baba and proved to be an instant success and captivated the country with incredibly motivational imagery and lyrics. Amidst the World Cup recording, Khani released her second album titled Rishnai. The third single from the album was Dopata. The video was inspired by the sci fi film The Matrix. The song is listed in the 20 best pop songs ever for Pakistan, where it is positioned at number 15. The success of the song was attributed to its quasi bhangra rhythm with fat, funky techno beats, and Khani's dreamy meets husky vocals, which made the results stunning. In the wake of Dupata's success Khani became widely accepted as the country's leading female vocalist. Capitalizing on Dupata Euro unregistered trademark s success, Carney went on to release two other moderate hits, Prashnai, and Wokorn High. Her sixth single off the album, Blue Abarian went on to become an even bigger hit for her than Dupata. To date, Blue Abarian is widely accepted as Carney's best single ever and noted as one of the most prominent Pakistani songs of all time. Carney's massive success in 1999 was highlighted when she won PTV World Viewer Euro Unregistered Trademark S Choice Award for the Best Female Singer. She also released seventh single off the album, Intazar. Rishnai sold over a million copies, certifying the album as platinum. The album is listed in the 20 best local pop albums ever for the country, positioned at number 15. Carney is just one of two female singers in the entire list. Kanye Euro unregistered trademark S success led to her being signed by Unilever for celebrity endorsement of Lipton in 2001. In 2002, she was signed again by Unilever for Sun Silk Shampoo after the overwhelming results of Unilever's national survey to find the most popular woman of Pakistan. Throughout the early 2000s, she performed live concerts in the US, Canada, UK, Middle East, Far East, Australia, Norway, Greece, Bulgaria and Turkey. Equals 2002, third album Rung Equals, Carney released her third album Rung in September 2002. She returned to promote the album in June 2003, almost ten months after Sheer Euro unregistered trademark D released Yard Sajan with a new single Ranjan, and several stage performances and tours around the country.
she then released other singles off the album throughout 2003 and 2004. These included Joji Bum Kaur, Mai, and Dolan. In Joji Bum Kaur Kani plays various women a Euro unregistered trademark S roles, including a traditional Japanese, an Arab, and a tribal woman. She played a vampire in her video for Mai, which was directed by top director Asim Reza. The video showed that it is harmful to judge people of different faiths and castes, and also bad to stereotype. It was the highest budgeted video of the year 2003. During this time, Kani was in the midst of her first divorce, however Kanye Euro unregistered trademark S album sales continued to pick up through 2003 and 2004. In 2004, she received the Best Female Pop Singer Award by Indus Music, the first 24-hour music channel of Pakistan. Asim Reza won an award for Best Video for directing her video Mahi. Rung got mixed reviews from experts. Overall it did not capitalize on the momentum generated by Rishnai. Many argue that this is because Rung has more mature slow-paced ballads than Rishnai, while some say the turmoils of her personal life are to blame. However, Kani still remained a strong figure in the industry. Her name was mentioned in Pakistani Pope a Euro unregistered trademark S10 most influential acts ever, in which she was ranked ninth. She is also one of just two female singers in the list, the other being Nazia Hussain. A UK-based magazine declared Kani the 22nd greatest music maker of South Asia out of a total of 50 artists, also mentioning how she raised the standard of music videos in the country. Equals 2007, fourth album Rough Cut Equals, in 2007, Kani released her fourth studio album, Rough Cut, a collaboration with Amir Zaki. The album had seen frequent delays in its release both due to Kanye Euro unregistered trademark S busy schedule in 2005 and 2006 and because Zaki had moved to Canada while the album was being recorded. With the release of Rough Cut, Kani became the first mainstream Pakistani artist to release a complete English album. Prior to the release of the album, Kani and Zaki teamed up for an Urdu song, written by Zaki, titled Isbar Milo. The video was directed by the iconic Jami and starred Hamayun Saeed opposite of Kani. Isbar Milo's video production and acting performances Notably Khani's portrayal of a schizophrenic patient in a Pakistani mental hospital left audiences stunned. The video was a major milestone in the Pakistani music industry, winning Khani and Jami the title of Best Video by MTV Pakistan. In April 2007, Khani released the first official single for the album, titled Living This Lie. The same week, Khani was named Hot Stepper of the Week for the News by Jang Group. The article also stated that ultimately, as long as Haddock is around, there is still hope for women in the patriarchal music world of Pakistan. Kanye Euro unregistered trademark a second single from the album was titled All the Same. Rough Cut failed to perform on the charts and did not sell as much as Kanye Euro unregistered trademark s older works. Many experts have said that since an overwhelming majority of people in the country do not understand English the album did not sell as well. The first single titled Living This Lie got nominated and won for Best English Song at the Music Awards in 2007. Due to the emergency situations occurring in the country in 2007, however, the awards were called off. Carney also got nominated for Best Female Singer in the same awards. Equals 2009 Fifth album Isman Equals, in June 2009, Kani switched record labels to Fire Records and released a new album titled Isman on June 17, 2009. It was Kanye Euro unregistered trademark S first album in local languages since her release of Rung Back in 2002. In the album, she sang in Urdu, Punjabi, Hainko, Pashto, and Persian. One song in the album has vocals featured by her elder brother Irfan Khani. She has also collaborated with UK producer JKD, George Hyder, and rapper NAST on two tracks of the album, Sonia, and Dilmira. She also sang a Pashto duet with Pashto singer Irfan Khan. The first single of the album was Sonia. The official video of Sonia was premiered a day before Khani released the album. 
Since then the Song Plus video stayed on the ARG Top 10 charts for over a month resulting in Carney receiving a shield from ARG 10 for being the Artist of the Month. The album itself stayed number one on the Vibes charts of Instep magazine for the entire year. By the end of 2009, Eisman was named the best album of 2009 according to sales volume, popularity and internet downloads. Every single released from the album Eisman reached number one. Sohnyu was number one AAG 10 charts for over a month and was titled the best pop song of 2009 according to The Nation. Tyke Tyke was number one on Prime TV charts. Ars Kashimsaki went number one on Play TV charts and by the end of 2009 it was declared the third best music video of 2009. In February 2010, Carney released the fourth single off Eisman titled Janan for which he collaborated with relatively unknown Pashto singer Irfan Khan. The song has become Kanya Euro unregistered trademark s biggest hit till date and some say that it has even topped the popularity of Bu Barian. The song became the first Pakistani pop song to be mentioned by the Los Angeles Times, where the newspaper said that Janan was what the whole country was listening to. Kani nailed the Pashto accent and was fully embraced by the Pashto community. Some Pakhtuns even started to call her Hadik Pathani. Kani then started a massive trend in Pakistan of embracing Pashto culture. Girls started to wear Pashto style dresses imitating Kanya Euro unregistered trademark S looks on the red carpet, and more mainstream singers began singing in the local language. The song gained immense popularity because it broke barriers. Kani being a Punjabi singing a Pashto song and appealing to not only Pakistani Pashto audiences, but to worldwide audiences. Janan brought Kani back to an icon status in Pakistan for the youth. In the few years following the release, Kani's Janan was covered by Afghan singers, an American artist, and most noticeably by Chinese singer Hui at the Grand South Asia Expo 2014. The Chinese cover was done as a tribute to Pakistani culture which elevated the Pashto community in Pakistan while cementing the song as a national treasure. Equals playback singing and musical contributions equals, in 1995, Kani signed a string of Pakistani films as a playback singer, most notably the Adnan Sami Khan film Sargam. Sargam went on to win various awards for Kani, including that of Best Female Playback Singer at the prestigious Nigar Awards. Since Sargam however, Kani has been mostly absent from playback singing in Pakistan. The exception came in 2011 when she became one of the primary playback singers for Shub Mansoor's highly successful film Bol. The film featured four of Kani's songs, two of which were collaborations with Atif Aslam. The soundtrack of the film saw incredibly positive reviews and received four Lux Style Awards nominations for Kani and Aslam. In 2006, Kani was featured on UK-based producer Kaiser's album Loyal to the Game S lead single, Moo Ma. The song was a massive success in Pakistan, and was seen as a great return to pop music for Kani after her ballads in Rung. In the video, Kani is seen with different hairstyles and outfits. The reviews were been extremely favorable, one source said that Moo Ma, which starts off the album is easily the best track on it with Kani showcasing her top-notch vocals in the music, which remains hip-hopish yet very daisy, thanks to the usage of sitar, tabla makes it an excellent number. Kani also performed the song at the 2006 Lux Style Awards. Over the years, Kani has provided vocals for a select list of TV dramas such as the critically acclaimed 2011 drama Zindaji Girls Ahai's title track with Ale Zafer and the 2006 hit Ars Pass with Atif Aslam. In May 2012, Kani appeared on the fifth season of Rahel Hyatt's Coke Studio. Belting powerful renditions of Bully Shah and Amir Kure's road to overwhelmingly positive reviews and distancing herself from the legendary pop image she had built throughout her career. Equals international performances equals, apart from studio recordings, in 2005 Kani was appointed by the government of Pakistan as the official representative of Pakistan. On August 11, 2005, Kani performed in Nagoya for the Prime Minister of Japan Mr. Junichiro Kwazumi. Kani then performed in Toronto on August 14, 2005 by request of the Pakistani consulate. She performed in Houston on August 13, 2005. The show was at Sam Houston Race Park, 
and it was attended by over 15,000 people. Chief guest of the show was Sheila Jackson Lee who is a member of the U.S. House of Representatives. In the same month, she performed at the Mets Cheer Stadium New York on August 18, 2005. She closed the month of August with a performance at the Pakistan Parade in New York on August 28, 2005. On October 2, 2005, Carney performed in Malaysia at the newly built convention center in Kuala Lumpur downtown. The Honorary Prime Minister of Pakistan Mr. Shawkat Aziz was the chief guest of the show. The show was part of Expo 2005 in Malaysia. Important business and political personalities from both countries attended the show. Carney sang a song in Malay to show respect to the Malaysian people. Carney represented Pakistan on the 25th anniversary of the Organization of Islamic Conference Research Center for Islamic History, Art and Culture in Turkey. Islamic countries such as Azerbaijan, UAE, Iran, Qatar, Kazakhstan, Qajiz Republic, Kuwait, Lebanon, Egypt, Sudan, Syria, Saudi Arabia, Tanzania, Turkey, Pakistan and Yemen took part in the celebrations. The event was organized by Istanbul Metropolitan Municipality. She performed at the AKM Opera House on November 23, 2005. Among the audience were musicians from various countries. The biggest surprise for the audience was when Kani sang Sayna Lama. She told the audience that as Turkey stood beside Pakistan in good and bad times, she wanted to convey the love of Pakistani people for the Turks. She also told the audience that she visited Turkey as a child star in 80s and represented Pakistan in the International Children's Euro Unregistered Trademark S Festival in Turkey so she had beautiful childhood memories associated with Turkey. The audience gave her a standing ovation at the end of her performance, the mayor of Istanbul presented a bouquet of flowers to her. After her performance she received invitations to participate in the upcoming art festivals in various countries such as Iran. Syria, Qatar and Lebanon. During her stay in Istanbul she officially visited various historical sites in Turkey and conveyed the love of Pakistan for Turkey. Her performance in Istanbul was important news in various Turkish newspapers. Kani performed in China for the Chinese premiere on February 21, 2006. The following month, she performed for President George W. Bush on March 4, 2006. Commenting on her performance, Bush said Ms. Haddock Carney is extremely talented and should sing here more. She then performed for the Crown Prince of Brunei Al Mutadi Billa Balkian on May 29, 2006. Carney performed as per the request of former First Lady of the United States, Laura Bush on September 21, 2006 at prestigious the Kennedy Center, in Washington, D.C. She closed the year by performing for Prince Charles of the United Kingdom and Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall on October 30, 2006, and again in China for the Chinese President on November 23, 2006. On May 19, 2007, Carney performed at Dead Sea in Jordan for 28 heads of states at the World Economic Forum on the Middle East and North Africa. Her performance took place on the second day of the three-day event while American singer Lionel Richie performed the first day. Among Carney's setlist for the night was the Arabic song titled A W Nose by Nancy Aram which Carney covered and then sang again the following year in Pakistan. In August 2007, Carney was one of the headliners for the London Day Parade at the iconic Trafalgar Square, London which was broadcast by Geo TV to celebrate 60 years of independence for Pakistan. Carney was the only singer who sang completely live that day. She was also part of closing the show with a popular patriotic song Jive Pakistan alongside Ale Zafer. Equals Philanthropy and Social Causes Equals, in March 2007, Carney was one of the many artists featured in a widely popular track called Ye Hum Naheen. In this song, various Pakistani artists joined to send out a message that the stereotype of Pakistanis is not correct and that they oppose terrorism. The song also conveys an anti-terrorism sentiment in the music video and supported the anti-terrorism campaign, Ye Hum Naeen, which Kani is heavily involved with. Other artists in the song include Ale Zafer, Shait Amanat Ali and the Strings duo. 
The song was picked up by international networks such as Fox News and BBC and amassed a significant number of downloads. In August 2010, Carney and her siblings worked with local Pakistanis along with the Pakistan Army to provide clothing, water, food and shelter to the flood victims of Pakistan following the devastating 2010 Pakistan floods. Carney also appeared in Geo TV's Telef and Pukka along with pop star Ali Zafar to appeal for donations. In collaboration with Pakistan Army, Carney made visits to Milton Relief Camp, Basti Kalaiwala, Muzaffarabad and other flood hit areas, personally distributing goods to the affectees. On November 8, 2010, Carney was appointed United Nations Development Program Goodwill Ambassador after being recognized for her individual philanthropic efforts. Following being appointed, Carney continued to construct housing facilities in Noshera, Khyber Pakhtunkhwa for the flood victims till she completed over 250 houses. Noshera was one of the worst flood hit areas in the country. In the beginning of 2015, Carney was chosen on to be one of Pond's Miracle Mentors as an initiative to highlight and support strong women in the patriarchal Pakistani society alongside nine other renowned and influential women. Later that month Carney stood up again to voice her views on women in leadership at the Women Leadership Summit 2015 with then-wife of former cricketer Imran Khan, Ram Khan and various other women who had achieved success in their respective fields including Munaba Mazari and Nadia Jamal. The summit brought international and local voices together as an act towards shedding light to the issue of gender discrimination in the workplace. Carney works regularly with the D Foundation and has been involved with many other charitable organizations, including Muslim Hands, SOS Villages and UNICEF. She has also campaigned and been the ambassador for Shawkat Khanum, Oxfam International, and since 2010 the United Nations. Equals Pakistan Idol Equals Pakistan Idol is a Pakistani reality singing competition that is part of the Idols franchise created by Simon Fuller and owned by 19 Entertainment and Fremantle Media. It is the 50th adaptation of the familiar reality competition format introduced in the British series Pop Idol in 2001. It was developed for the Pakistani entertainment market by Geo TV. The show brought together three legendary Pakistani personalities to judge the show, Junoon frontman Ali Azmat, comic Bushra and Sari, and Kani. The first season of the show is heavily controversial but proved to be the most watched entertainment show in Pakistani history. Equals recognition and present equals, in March 2006, Kani was presented with the TAMGHA Imshas by the government of Pakistan, one of the highest civil awards of the country in acknowledgement of her services in the field of music and for shining an encouraging light on the country for over a decade. The award was announced on August 14, 2005 but the ceremony was performed on March 23 of the next year. On August 15, 2015, Daily Times listed Kani as the 15th part of their 30-name list of celebrated Pakistanis who have brought a great deal of pride for their country. Other names on the list titled Pride of Pakistan included Academy Award winner Shamino Bajanoi, Malala Yousafzai, and national hero Abdul Satadi. In April 2015, Kani headlined the music Mela and introduced her newly evolved sound for the three-day festival arranged by the U.S. Embassy in Islamabad, Pakistan. Ever the Chameleon, the former pop queen of Pakistan debuted herself as a Kamawali artist to immensely positive reviews and left people cheering for more. Upon the end of the Mela, Kani announced that she would be working on her sixth album titled WAJD. In November 2015 it was announced that Kani would speak at Tej Kined on the role of women in Pakistani society. Discography, Raza Euro 1995, Rishnaya Euro 1998, Runga Euro 2002, Rough Cutter Euro 2007, Eismane Euro 2009, WAJD A Euro TBA. Awards and nominations. References